Just do something to tell you who I am, you know? Hey everyone, and welcome back to Seek and R. This is going to be a bit of a personal episode for me. Many of you newer subscribers don't really know my origin story, and many of you that have been here for years don't really understand why my favorite superhero is Green Lantern. So hopefully this video lets you all know, new and old, who I am and how I came to love the DC Universe. Enjoy. Ten years ago today, I saw a film that many people did not like, and most of the world didn't see. Green Lantern, directed by Martin Campbell, starring Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively. Not only did I attend the premiere, but I proceeded to support the film by seeing it six more times before it left the theater. And while I agree with many of the criticisms towards the movie, it's still the film that helped light the path that I took after surviving my brain aneurysm rupture in 2010. How could a goofy movie with a low Rotten Tomato score do that, you ask? Well, let's take a quick trip back to my first head injury, which is not for the faint of heart. One night when I was eight years old, I could hear my parents arguing out in the living room. After a few minutes, it escalated, and then it turned violent. This was often the case in our household. My father was in the Air Force, and he was a police officer, two professions that normally stand for honor, protection, duty, and safety. But my father didn't believe in any of those things. One night when I was eight years old and my parents were arguing, it escalated so badly that my father started pricking my mother's chest with a knife. He was also waving his gun around, threatening to use it, swearing that he was going to kill her if she ever tried to leave him. I couldn't take it, so I charged at my father. But I had no impact. He knocked me to the ground and hit me in the skull with the butt of his gun. My mother screamed and fought. My mother overcame fear and fought back. She saved my life and my brother's. That was the night I learned that willpower was stronger than fear. While I was recovering in the hospital from my head injury, safe with my mother and brother nearby, my mom took a trip to the comic store and bought me a small stack of comics. And in that stack was an issue of Green Lantern, an Air Force pilot and space cop in Hal Jordan and a Marine slash space cop in John Stewart. These two guys had the profession of my father, but unlike him and the fellow officers who protected my dad, Hal Jordan and John Stewart were the good guys. They overcame their fears and fought life's challenges with willpower, just like my mom. Naturally, I grew up a big fan of the Green Lantern Corps. I understood them. Their world, as fantastical as it was, had a foundation that just made sense to me. Flash forward to 2010. I'm 28 years old, with a lifetime of headaches, migraines, and head injuries. So no one thought it was weird when I complained about a migraine. Not until I had trouble speaking, and then dropped to the ground. A subarachnoid hemorrhage, commonly known as a brain aneurysm rupture, occurred, triggering a stroke and nearly killing me. My own blackest night. But as the oath goes, for every blackest night, there is a brightest day. Around 20 years after my first head injury caused by my father, and nearly two weeks after my aneurysm rupture. Next to me is a stack of comics, once again from my mom. Again in this stack there were Green Lantern comics, specifically the Green Lantern comics that were coming out at that time, which was a series called Brightest Day. Brightest Day is a story about 12 heroes and villains who are resurrected after their deaths that occurred in the best-selling series Blackest Night. These 12 heroes now get a second chance at life and try to prove their worthiness to remain in the world. Once again, I found myself understanding DC Comics. News came out that a Green Lantern movie was releasing less than a year later. All I wanted to do was head back to where I used to live in Los Angeles, California, and be there for the premiere. Then I was hoping to attend San Diego Comic-Con soon after to tell Jeff Johns, Pete Tomasi, and the folks at DC that parts of Brightest Day felt like they were written just for me, and that it inspired me. In that time, I relearned how to walk and talk through months of speech and physical therapy. I relearned how to drive, and I got my license back. Then I drove from South Carolina to California in time to be at the premiere. Luckily I was able to attend because my friends at Golden Apple Comics got me a ticket. Sadly that ticket was not a guarantee, so wouldn't you know it that as I was waiting in line, they cut the line off right behind me, and I was the last one to be let in to the premiere of Green Lantern. Yeah sure, maybe the movie wasn't the best, maybe it had some issues that many people don't like, 
but to me, its existence was a major part of my rebirth. There were toys, comics, a video game, a roller coaster, and much more that helped me meet other Green Lantern fans, like my best friend and fellow aneurysm survivor, Gene Hoyle. Through Gene, I was able to get better at talking by co-hosting the Nerd Nation podcast with them, where we talked about GL quite often. I saw the movie seven times, I rolled the roller coaster against my doctor's wishes, I survived, walked, talked, and drove across the U.S. to celebrate in person something that most people ended up hating. And I'd do it all again because I couldn't have done it without the real-life Green Lantern that I know, my mother, the one who taught me that willpower is stronger than fear. Like the movie or hate it, the core message of what a Green Lantern stands for will always stay with me for the rest of my life. I'm very grateful to still be alive 11 years after my aneurysm rupture and 10 years to the day after the release of Green Lantern. In brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power, Green Lantern's light. Thank you for watching and listening to my story. Join me back here on this channel tomorrow night for my fan commentary track as we watch the Green Lantern movie live together and discuss its few successes and its failures. Link down below to that commentary for those who are finding this episode later on. Before I go, tell me about a time that you overcame fear and willed yourself to achieve something down in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode, and ring that notification bell if you don't want to miss future DC content from me. Thanks so much for watching. See you poosers on Oa.